One of our journalists visited one of the gaming stores whereby Kubuka EU to put in Sasa Lenganani when it comes to technology. As it's born again, Bugel would have been satellite from East Patelen. We're talking about video games and um, sports and in general. Today I am with, please introduce yourself, gentlemen. I'm Chitundu Stanley, coming from Gamers Galaxy Manzin. I'm Amon Shamilimo from Amusement Arcade in Manzin. All right. So these gentlemen here have set up their gaming stall here at the ICT fair. And I just want to find out from them, like, in terms of technology and the gaming sphere what do you guys feel that you want the public to take away from today having come to your store well uh, with uh, electronic uh, sports it is a new uh, it is a new sport on the industry whereby uh, many people who are not even physically uh, physically strong can uh, can can have a talent in playing uh, soccer on the uh, on the TV, which is uh, utilizing ICT. Uh, someone can even be playing uh, a shooting game, uh, car racing, whatever your your interest really. So you can uh, we are showcasing that this talent is something that you can discover on yourself uh, from yourself. Then uh, that's why we've brought it to the public. Okay, so like in terms of um, today, what do you guys have? Um, we saw the computers, we saw the consoles, but uh, may, uh, interestingly enough, there's also games that people can play outside in the sun. And we also have footballs, actual footballs in front of us. Can you tell us a bit more about that, Amon? Yeah, uh, we've got different games. We wanted to add flavor to what we have inside there. And we've got this game like football. It's a game like that, that can be played by, it cutters across all ages, you know, it can be played by the young ones, the ladies, the, the males, so it caters for all. Yeah, that's why we also decided to bring this one so that everyone can participate. When they are here, they can also enjoy uh, the games outside whilst they are checking what is happening in terms of technology inside, yeah. I like how you guys came together to bring both sides of sports and entertainment together. Like, you have your esports where you're teaching kids like to be quick thinkers and hand-eye coordination, all of that. And you have your games outside to keep them fit and healthy. What can you tell me about like the, um, the games you have today? Is there, what exactly are the games you have? Can you list them for me? Yeah, we've got uh, football here outside. We've got also a micro snooker. Yeah, it's also a nice game. It's new though. And with that one, you can... What are the, sorry, what are the benefits of the micro snooker over normal snooker? Over? Normal snooker. No, it's only that that one is it's made, it's small. Otherwise, it's, 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 it's just an, uh, uh, what can I say, an image of the big one, you see. It's, uh, they just brought it in a, in a different, you know, version. It's smaller than the, the one we normally know. And you also have um, go-karts on the outside. I saw that as well. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, go-karts. We've had go-karts for some time now. We usually also do them at the trade fair. So also with those ones, we've got go-karts for kids and adults. The off-road ones and the on-road ones. Yeah, so the off-road, you can use them on, on the gravel and grass and all that. So we have got for kids and adults as well. So anyone, you know, we teach them how to drive. It's like driving a car. So there's a, a accelerator there and a brake. So we teach them how to do it. Within a short period of time, they know how to drive. And they do it very well, yeah. All right. So um, speaking of ICT, we have to talk about technology, the, the technological side of the gaming. What can you tell us, um, Stanley, about if someone doesn't know anything about consoles, if they don't know anything about computers, what can you, how can you sum it all up? Uh, they w if someone does not know about consoles, what I can say is that uh, just like the way you use your, your, your PC, your laptop, right? Your laptop, you're able to access emails and uh, use it for, for other things like preparing your documents, uh, PowerPoints and all that. You can use uh, 
a, a machine called the console, which is uh, either a PlayStation or Xbox or Nintendo, uh, that can also allow you to connect to the internet by uh, you browsing the, the internet or you connecting to play with other people worldwide. So with, uh, with, the, with the growth of eSports nowadays, if you have got a, a very good in internet connection, which is uh, fast of, uh, of a certain NAT type conducive for gaming, you could uh, u utilize that uh, gaming console to play with anyone. There are competitions out, uh, out there online. Also, you can join leagues. You can uh, even be exposed to, to the uh, FIFA Interactive World Cups. And uh, in the next two years, they'll be launching out uh, eSports on, uh, onto Olympics. So just like the way we watch people running, we'll be watching people playing video games at the uh, Olympics. Like you, stay, like you say, Stanley, there's, um, there's a growing market out there for esports. And the, the prize money is for these competitions. They're getting bigger and bigger and bigger. But um, I'm a gamer myself. I know that there are challenges we have in Eswatini in terms of playing with other players online. Our internet isn't as great as um, other countries. So what would your, your hopes be for the internet infrastructure of the country in the next five years or so? Well, uh, there's a lot of hopes showing whereby uh, now we have started talking about uh, fiber connections and uh, with speeds going uh, as far as uh, 15 megabytes. With, uh, with such infrastructure, there's really a lot of hope. That's why we, we keep uh, pushing for the gaming to say one day they'll give us uh, that kind of an internet connection that will allow us to play with uh, anyone in the world without a glitch. Okay, that's, that, that's a great um, hope for us all, hey? <laughs> I also like want to ask, what is it that you wanna, want the public who come to your, your stores and your games at the ICT fair, what do you want them to take away from the whole time they, they spend here? No, you know, uh, us, our, my, our main aim is actually to keep you know, the young ones and the old ones busy. And especially, you know, the young ones, these games, it will help them to get away from, you know, other stuff that is not good for them, like, you know, drug abuse and smoking and all those things. So we are trying, you know, to cater for those. When they are doing this, they keep themselves busy. They forget about what other things, the bad things, we say. That's why we are trying also to come up with other games so that we keep the young ones busy. That's our main aim, actually, to, so that they are not, you know, uh, they don't think of other bad things, you see. That's the main reason why we are trying to come up with different games. Yeah. All right, thank you very much. I understand you guys will also be having your own esports tournaments here, and we're wishing you all the best with that, hoping we'll be able to um, see a bit of that action as well. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys.